So all of you might write the question. Next question is, so there is a wall or else something you can imagine a support. And you can imagine like sometimes I've noticed it, for example, imagine. So there is a wall. I just hold the ball to the wall and I will stand like this. I will remember that by the time gravity is acting downward direction, but still my applied force is in this direction. So that ball will never fall. It will stick to the wall only. Am I right, guys? Yes, please. Daily action. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, no. Yes. A similar case here. So just I'm saying for your better understanding. Just I'm pressing the ball to the wall. There is a force which is acting downward direction. Gravity. But applied force is what? Something greater. So that ball will never fall. Am I right, everyone? Clear? Yes, the similar concept here. So the given mass is 1 kg. The applied force, the pressing force towards the wall is 40 newtons. And the coefficient of static friction is 0 0.3. And coefficient of uh, kinetic friction is 0 0.2. It is 0 0.3 and it is 0 0.2. Now the question is, find force of friction find force of friction and as well as acceleration. So that is the question. Okay. So all of you observe very carefully and you have to solve it very perfectly. Okay. So imagine like this is vertical. You imagine like it is a horizontal so that you can all easily solve it. Okay. Now you can notice it. So as we all know that always friction act where guys perpendicularly to the surface. Am I right? Correct. Along the surface it will act it. tangent to the surface. Am I right everyone? So here is the object is kept. Yep. So what is the direction of what is the direction of uh, friction? Now actually the body should fall in this direction because weight is acting downward direction. So what is the weight, everyone? Weight is equals to how many kg? So one kg. So the weight is equals to one g. Am I right, everybody? Yes, yes. All of you. So one g means in the sense of the frictional force is acting opposite to that. That is what it is acting. The friction is acting always tangent to the surfaces. Now. The applied force is 40 newtons means then what about the normal reaction? All of you, can you tell me normal is equals to? Applied force is equals, of course, if you want, let me see that. It is actually, it's not the applied force. The 40 newtons force is make it. So which is making you to fix this uh, object to the wall. Now let me find the applied force, how much it is, it is happening. So what is the applied force now here? Only gravity. Understand all of you? So there is a pulling force towards the downward. That is what is the applied force. Applied force by ground. So applied force is how much guys? Anybody can tell. Applied force is equals to 1g which is equals to 1 into 10 which is equals to how many newtons? Ra? Applied force is. Yes please. Applied force is how many newtons? 10 newton. 10 newtons. Understanding? So now either the body will move or not. Either the body will fall or not we should find it. So let us check it now. So if the body will move or not, F limiting is equals to mu s into n. Now if you observe very carefully, mu s value is 0 0.3 into n value 10 into 4. Or yeah, it is n. n means what? Uh, n. n only sir. Reaction, correct. If this is the rea 40 newtons means the normal is also equals to how much? n is equals to also? 40. 40 newtons. Okay. Inclined surface. This is horizontal vertical surface keep it in mind that so normal is equals to also if you make reaction like this 40 means normal reaction also 40 newtons so 0 0.3 into 40 so how much it is actually all of you f limiting is equals to how much 12. f limiting is equals to 12 newtons means that is the maximum static friction maximum static friction so if you notice it applied force is how much all of you we got it already. Applied force is how much? 10 newton. Applied force is 10 newton. But what is the maximum static friction? Limiting friction. Is equal 12. to 12 newton. Sense of body is in state of rest or state of motion. Rest. Body is in state of rest. rest. Is what it is static friction. So be very careful. That. Okay. So that is what you have to remember. In these cases, what is applied force? Not 40 is the applied force. Be very careful. 40 is the force which is acting to hold that object to the surface. Understand it? That is not applied force. Understand? So which is applied force? The force which is trying to move. Do you understand? Dudreswa? That is what 1G. So this is only called as applied force. So in this case, what is applied mm -hmm. force, everybody? Applied force is the weight of the object. Clear? Yes. yes. 
that is what you should remember yes, so that now f led force so which is greater f of led is less than f of led is less than f limiting, f limiting. So that the body is limiting. static friction that is what you have to so it is static friction means the body is in state of what state of rest yes. so that is what you should remember clear now so if you understand this, then one more important concept I'm going to introduce now, that is what angular friction. So very, very important one. For this one, again, you have to remember the vector chapter also. So the second chapter and third chapter also, we have to remember. So third one is angular friction. So very important concept. So let me take now, all of you observe, there is a surface. Now, if I take it here, so there is a surface, always I know that. So object is kept here, which is having a M mass. How much mass? m mass all of you clear yes so we all knows that yeah. always the limiting friction or the friction which is acting in this direction that is what we used to call it as what force actually it is frictional force am i right all of you yes please yes sir, yes, sir. the frictional force and always something is acting in this direction that is what normal no. Now you tell me if the frictional force is acting in this direction and normal is acting in this direction, then what about the resultant resultant force? We all know that. If it is like this, like this, X and Y component, then what is the resultant force? This is the resultant force. Am I right? Yes, please. I love you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. No. Pradosh, if this is the X axis and Y axis is acting, resultant force will act like this. Now resultant, this is x axis, y x axis and y axis, normal. Then what is the resultant force? This is the resultant force direction. Am I right? All of you? Yes, sir. Yeah, that is what. So limiting, uh, this is frictional force and normal reaction. And the resultant force will act in this direction. This is what a resultant force. Clear everybody? So now we have to find the theta. What is the theta? How much angle it has to be applied? The resultant force acting in what angle? That is what. So now all of you observe very carefully. This frictional force is equal to some force. Can you tell me what is that? That frictional force is equal to what force? All of you. Yes, please. This frictional force only yeah, equals limiting force. Limiting friction. Yes, Understand? Limiting. So which is equals to mu s into n. So now if you observe it, if this is the mu s means in the sense of for formation of uh, finding theta, do you remember a parallel a parallel shift? All of you. So then frictional yes, force is equals to mu s n. Then here is the triangle. So the this is one and this is one. Then here also parallel shift. This also will become what? Which is also equals to limiting friction. Am I right or wrong? Yes, sir. Yes. Yes, sir. That is what. So now that's all. It is. So then the triangle will come like this. This is the triangle. So all of you observe. This is f limiting and this is a normal and this is a resultant force and we want to find the theta. So how to find the theta? We all know that tan theta is equal to what is the formula? So Lunga, tan theta is equal to opposite by this. opposite by opposite by hypotenuse. So what is the opposite here? Tan theta is equal to mu s n limiting friction divided by limiting friction divided by normal. Okay, everybody. Normal limiting friction means mu s divided by n divided by n. So n n will get cancelled. So tan theta is equals to mu s and theta is equals to what everybody? Tan, tan inverse of mu s. Tan inverse of mu s. That is what. Are you clear? Pradosh, Asita, how to get it? Tan, tan theta, that is what. So keep it in mind always. We all studied this one, resultant force acting. So if this is the y direction and x direction, we all know that resultant force acting perpendicular that is what 45 degrees inclination basically we'll study that 45 degrees normally like motion chapter if it is a uniform motion it will act linear graph means like this only am i right or wrong everybody do you remember or not yes sure. it will make inclination angle with the x-axis that is what it is a uh, straight line linear graph so same way here also if the always resultant force act between the two components am i right or wrong that is what we studied. Many sums we saw related to this. Okay, guys? Yes, yes that is what. So what is the theta equals how much? All of you? Theta is equals to? Tan inverse of, of mu s. Yes. Tan inverse of? Yes. 
Yes, coefficient of static friction. That is what it is. Okay. Now it's already 10 30. Now one question I'll teach you. And for JE concept, I will continue in tomorrow's class along with the next inclined static frictions. Okay. So now there is a question. You all can uh, read it and you can uh, solve it. So there is a frictional force always acting. That is what limiting friction. So in this side it will act. So the body is placed here. So which is actually M. So forget about even this also. I don't want to represent this also. So you just to take it as a body. You should find it. Okay. And the velocity of the body is V0. What is the initial velocity of the body? Everybody? Yes, please. V0. Okay. V0. The question is find the time find the time after after which it stops after which it stops and also it will stops means something is zero can you tell me by this time like ninth class it will stops means something is zero calculate distance of block that is what the distance traveled by the block before coming to the rest anybody can tell if it will comes to rest means something is zero final velocity. final velocity that is what so means in the sense of according to the figure i can understand that body is already in what motion already in motion means it is static friction or limiting friction or? kinetic kinetic friction Kin okay so kinetic friction so kinetic friction is equals to what is the formula if i take the body g m m means mg up means n will come so n is equals to what all of you m is equals to mg so that fk is equals to mu into mg this is what am i right everybody all of you clear yes, sir yeah so that is what basically which is the limiting that kinetic friction which is exerting on the body now so if you all notice it if the kinetic friction we all knows that which is remains remains what the kinetic friction which constant. Is constant 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 so we all knows that there is a frictional force which is acting backward direction as it is a constant and it is moving so which is the force limiting force which is equals to also mu mg am i right or wrong everybody clear yes sir not no. mu mg sorry it is ah correct only so which is equals to limiting friction that is what which is always acting backward direction so now if you observe, we want to find the acceleration. So let us see that they are asking what at what time it will stop. So we all know that initial velocity is equals to V0. If it will comes to rest, what is the final velocity? Zero. zero. And the time I want zero. to find it. So time is equals to time. So if you want to find the time, we all know that we have to find the acceleration also. So acceleration is equals to what is the formula? Force by force by mass. Wow. So now if you notice it, basically the the body is uh, the body is moving in this direction so we all knows that the limiting friction the force which is acting in what direction opposite to the opposite to the what the, the direction of motion understanding the body is moving forward the force is acting opposite means in the sense of it is a what up minus a like friction friction is what opposite to the direction of motion am i right or wrong guys minus so, ma so it will comes into the minus Minus what will happen? F here, mu ra, not it is, yeah. Minus mu mu m g m g m. So m m cancel. So what is the acceleration? Acceleration is equals to minus mu g. So that is only which to called as what actually? It is acting backward direction. What is that? It is actually the friction. Clear everybody? Friction. That is what. Now, if you want to find the time, so we all know that. Newton's first law, sorry, motions, uh, uniform, first law of equation. So what is that three laws of equation, equations of motion? First law, what is that first law of uh, motion? V is equal to, v equal to U plus A T. We all know that final velocity is zero. Initial velocity is equals to V naught plus acceleration is equals to minus mu G into T. So if you t. want to find the T, T is equals to what will happen? Everybody, V minus v. initial velocity divided by minus u will come this side. Right? Yes, sir. Cancel. Yeah, mu naught, mu, uh, sorry, it will come to this side plus g, correct, ra, which is equal to mu naught. So, we are yes, initial sir. velocity divided by mu g. That is what is equal to time period. If you want to find the time, so time is equal to initial velocity divided by 
mu into g. So, for example, if you want to find the distance, so if you want to find the distance, we have to use which equation? We know initial velocity and final velocity. Second equation. Uh, third second equation. equation. Time, oh, of course, you can know second or third you can use. So, let me use third equation. So, v square, v square equals to u square plus 2as. So, we all know that final velocity is 0. Initial velocity is equals to what? v naught plus axial 2 into acceleration is equals to minus mu g into s. So now again s is equals to this will this all will come this side 2 mu g is equals to v naught so that uh, s is equal to sir. yes please v naught by v naught square ah uh, square v naught square divided by 2 u g so that is how you can find if the force is applied understand it? so you, you can find it what is the distance traveled by the body before coming to the rest and time taken to uh, time taken to come to the body to the rest. So all of you remember that. So as the body is in motion, so we all know that it is actually the kinetic friction. So kinetic friction is equals to mu n. So n is equals to mg so that it will turns into mu mg. So if it is a mu mg, as we all know that if the forward x is acting always, a running body is also acting the frictional force in the backward direction. That is what frictional force is actually backward direction. Backward direction means it is a what actually minus. So minus mu mg, which is divided by m. Mm will get cancelled. A is equals to minus uc. So next time you can find by using first equation of motion and distance, you can find either second equation or third equation, your choice. So this is how you have to solve it the problems which will related to the static friction. Now, the same concept, uh, how we can solve for JE? JE, there will be a concept for this uh, related to static friction. So that questions, we will solve it uh, in a tomorrow's class and then we'll continue this uh, friction. The other, uh, next two more concepts are there in the friction that will continue in the tomorrow's class. I hope you all understand now, everybody, how to find the static friction and all, everyone. Clear? Yes, sir. Yeah. So this is what uh, about the static friction and then we'll uh, meet in tomorrow's class. Now you can sleep. If you want, you can study 10-15 minutes and you can sleep. And kindly follow tomorrow onwards and uh, don't involve in anything. Just only focus on work. That is what I can say. Okay. Thank you, everybody.